come to the inward journey. Here you will travel in pursuit not of the inner self, but past the self into Christ. It is a journey to the true center. You are embarking on a pursuit that will lead you nearer to the presence of God. In truth, you are not the pursuer, but the pursued. You are invited here to journey into the awareness of the love of God, which is in relentless pursuit of you. Let the natural beauty of this environment speak to your spirit. Right now, stop and acknowledge every sense at your disposal. Sight, sound, smell, touch. Together, these allow a taste of the presence of God. Be aware of the meaning behind everything you encounter and notice, whether the striking pattern of a leaf, a stone, or even a misplaced piece of trash. Embrace the many ways in which the Holy Spirit might be pursuing you. With each step you take, you are preparing your heart to be found and found again by the God who pursues. As the psalm reads, You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my coming and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you, Lord, know it completely. You hem me in behind and before, and you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light will become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, but the darkness is as light to you. Pause and think of that. When you are ready, wander down the path to the first station. <laughs> 